Hello and uh, welcome to How Not to Bleach Your Hair. Today we are bleaching my hair. Uh, sorry, I am. If you hear water trickling, my toilet is trickling. I don't know why. I have to fix that. And I am fixing up my bleach poorly right now. We are just touching up the front of my hair. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't really feel like doing this. I never feel like doing my hair. Uh, uh, sorry, my nose. I also have allergies and basil polyps, so my nose sounds great. But yeah, my bangs have just grown out quite a bit. So we are touching up the regrowth area. This line is horrible. It's not really as defined, but I mean, you can kind of see it. It's there though. There's a big chunk. So that's what we're aiming to. Just do the front. I'm not doing really much on the sides or anything. I just really want to get this triangle on the top. Also, I'm using the punky bleach, punky colors bleach. I got it from CVS because, you know, as somebody who used to do hair professionally, that's where I get all my bleach. So, yeah, and then Sally's for the, the uh, processing green, whatever you want to call it. The developer. So, I need a clip. I have a big scrunchie. Big scrunchie will do. After all, this is how not to do your hair, so. This is kind of a section. I'm watching Storm Chasers on my TV because I like to get myself super freaked out and paranoid about stuff. What better way than to watch people chasing tornadoes? But they're in another state. But I do hope that everyone is safe if any major tornadoes touch down because that's so scary but yeah we're gonna put that first I am using foils at least but gloves what are gloves this is the best because then you can't see you yeah. know oh it's dripping down my hand that's just great we're gonna have to do something about that I'm uh, pulling it all the way mostly down to blend a little bit. Uh, I'm making my hair off in the process. But it's okay. It's, it's the bay area, so you know. Just chop the bangs a little bit. I've had baby bangs before. In the, like, intentional baby bangs. I'm kind of doing with, with like what I had in my cabinet, like anything left over from forever ago. That's how this blonde happened up here. So I am going to be talking with an 8MW. So it will be darker than I would like, but I don't have more right now to get them as bright as I'd like for the TV because money costs, or money. I need money, and it costs a lot of money to be a blonde. Uh, I would. This that works. Hold this bad boy up a little. Like, I guess I should really put something up. <laughs> I just want to put it right on my hand, but I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> just for the regrowth area right here. Pretty sure you can do this on scope. I don't know, we're trying it. We're testing it. So I'm not going to get as bright as I'd like it, but. Just lift this area somewhat. It doesn't show all the time, but just in case I pull my hair back, it'll be a little brighter. Yeah, everything I'm doing is not the way you're supposed to do this, okay? But, you know, the heat draws my hand directly, like, you know, kind of cross, it'll process it faster. I just don't know how boring it's going to be. Okay, I think we're good here. <laughs> okay, so it's about that time. I'm going to rinse it out. I don't know what we're going to, what we're looking at here. Not as great as I'd like it to be, probably, because in an ideal world, 
I could just magically poof my hair to be amazing, but it's brighter, which is what I was going for. So, you know what? I'm gonna rinse this and use my purple shampoo, and then I'll be back with a uh, tone. I'm gonna tone it up. Okay, so this is. I did not use the purple shampoo. Not yet. We'll do it at the end because I'm gonna tone it now with our Lola color charm, the tried and true. Uh, and then we'll see from there if I think I need to use the purpley shampoo. So, as you can see, it's not perfect by any means, but we weren't going for perfect, and we knew it wasn't going to be perfect. But it's definitely got it lighter, so, um, you can see that I was lazy. But that's, you know, it's my only to the top, because I usually wear my hair parted mostly in the center, so, like, <sighs> told you this is the how you're not supposed to do your hair, so, don't do this. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna slap this bad boy on here. It's an Ada W. It's kind of old, so I don't know how much it's gonna be good. And we'll leave this on for like five minutes. Because if you leave it on too long, it does get the cashy. Uh -oh. And going in, my hair is slightly damp. It's okay to put it on damp hair. I don't know if that's like a point of contention among people, but you can apply toner to damp hair. It's totally fine. I don't know. It might help absorb it better too. I don't know. Look how dark it is. The tip. You always want to comb it through after you apply it. Like, it's good to do, like, the cross-checking sections and stuff, but also comb it through. And you might be surprised how much, uh, extra you get off the ends that you can, like, reapply the areas you, like, have missed. But yeah, see, I'm just using my hairbrush. Because this is what you're not supposed to do. I mean, I guess you could. Like, I can't do this, but... Gotta rinse my hairbrush. <laughs> I can't show you what I mean though with the hairbrush. You're not gonna get that like excess like you would with a comb that makes it so nice to reapply. But look, when you comb it through, like look how it just dragged it all through there. Nicely saturated. Well, more or less. Okay, if Brad Wando ever sees this, he should be proud of my saturation. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so. Wear gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes. Then I'm gonna rinse it out. And then I will let it dry a little and I will show you the color, how it came out. So, see you shortly. And here she is! So, as you can see, not perfect. We weren't going very perfect. Still slightly damp, but you know, it's dry where, where it counts to show off the color. Uh, I don't know, I'm happy with it because it was just getting, it's it's blended more now. You know, there's still a little bit of like a dark versus light, but it's just a lot more blended and that's what I was going for. Because I just hate when it starts to get too dark. Like, it, the sides turned out okay. They're doing here, they're a little darker, but as I wear my hair like this all the time, it's okay. So, anyway, thank you for following me on this journey and uh, don't try this at home. Uh,